Hello, welcome to this game. Imagine this. It's the year 2009. You've been using this Windows Vista computer for a couple years now and are getting very sick of Windows Vista. And you decide that you need a change for once. And you've been hearing about this new thing called Windows 7. So you go down to the store and buy this. A boxed copy of Windows 7 Professional Upgrade. Now I might be wondering, okay, what's the occasion? Well, just a few days ago, as of uploading this, July 22nd is the 14th anniversary of Windows 7 being released to manufacturers. So we're gonna upgrade to this copy of Windows 7 just like it's 2009. Right, so first, let's get into this thing. We got this amazing insert here. There's the absolutely gorgeous discs. Welcome to your PC Simplified Windows 7. It even has a guide for if you're upgrading from Windows XP because most people probably were. Alright, so we're gonna follow this manual for the most part and see what it was like to install Windows 7 in the year 2009. Here we go, 64-bit copy. Alright, so what's first in this manual? Thank you for choosing Windows 7. We listened closely to what you wanted. A simpler PC with less waiting, less clicks, less hassleless connecting, and less complexity. Welcome to Windows 7. All right, here's the, let's, here's the get started guide area. Get up and running with Windows 7. Follow these steps to get set up. Turn on your PC. When you get into the Windows desktop, insert the Windows 7 installation disk and setup should launch automatically. If it doesn't, just, all right, we're gonna, Alright, here we go. There we go. We are going to run setup. There we go. Alright, we gotta get back to the guide. Oh, I forgot to show this page. It's really cool. Windows 7, it's about a simpler PC from day one. I dropped my guide from upgrading to Windows XP, and how am I ever gonna know now? Alright, on the Install Windows page, click the Install Now button and follow the instructions. We're not going to get updates for the installation because it's not going to be able to. Alright, what do I do now? When you're asked what type of installation do you want, choose one of the following. Click Upgrade if you are running Windows Vista to keep your files, programs, and settings, and install Windows 7. Continue to follow the instructions to complete the setup. When you're finished, you'll see the Windows Desktop. That's it. Now you're running Windows 7. Alright, we're just going to click Upgrade then. Alright, now we're upgrading. Setup is preparing computer for first time use screen. And yeah, I have set my monitor to 4x3 so that, you know, it's not stretched. Alright, here's the part where I get to type in a product key. Now, this is actually, you know, legally acquired copy of Windows 7. Which means I have a legally acquired product key that I will not be showing you because it's mine. Heck yeah. I'm pretty sure the date and time's correct. Oh yeah, that's right, it can connect to the internet. Now, I don't want to connect to a wireless network, mainly because my wireless is uh, broken right now. I'm just gonna skip this home network. And also I have ethernet plugged in, so it should. Windows 7 Professional, Windows is finalizing your settings. All right. It seems it's deleted a few of my icons, unfortunately. Deleted my internet shortcut, deleted my, it changed my email, and it added a report, and it also, uh, you know, where's Windows, uh, Movie Maker? What the heck? 
All right, now it says it's not able to connect to the internet. All right, it now says we have internet, so that's good. So much work for something that should not be on the internet. All right, let's see if we can fix this widescreen issue. There we go. We are now officially on Windows 7. All right, we're gonna continue with the manual. Now to the fun stuff. Make Windows 7 look and sound the way you want. 10 cool things you can use every day. Five ways to get more from your PC. All right, we're gonna go, we're just gonna go one by one. Let's get personal. Make Windows 7 look and sound the way you want. Right click on your Windows 7 desktop, click personalize, select your favorite theme. Personally, I was always a fan of the landscapes theme. Looks really cool. You can make your windows look the way you want with your favorite glass color. Go to personalization, click window color, choose any color you want. There we go. That looks good. Let's get to it. 10 cool things you can use every day. The simple things that make everyday tasks faster, easier, and a lot more fun. Alright, start menu. Get to just about everything on your PC from one place. Start menu. Instantly find programs, files, and shortcuts to libraries and destinations with this start menu. Go there and go anywhere you want. Just click the start button. Wow. Number two, do what you want in just one click. The taskbar puts what you want to do at your fingertips. Place the taskbar so it's right where you need it, when you need it. I mean... That's disgusting. Let me just make the whole thing arrow glass. Oh. Put your favorite programs where you want them. You can decide what's on your taskbar with pinning. Just add the programs and files you use most often. Open the start menu. Right click on any program, we'll do paint. And click pin to taskbar. Wow. I'm gonna move this over here. See everything you got open with a quick peek. Thumbnail previews. Click the Internet Explorer icon on your taskbar. Open a few of your favorite websites. My favorite website is google.com. Cool. And yep, there we go. That's what it was talking about. No more clicking back and forth to compare windows. Snap. Over here. And this. Over here. Clear the way so you can focus on one simple move. Arrow shake. Just shake the window you want to focus on and all of your other open windows will instantly minimize. <laughs> why, why is there arrow in that? <laughs> Just call it shake. Like, is this only available when you're using arrow or something? So like, if I, yep. Get an open view of your desktop in an instant. Arrow peak. Wow. Find everything on your PC no matter where it is. Windows search. Begin typing any word in the Windows search box. Hello. Let's get more. Five ways to get more from your PC. Watch TV, movies, videos, and more on your PC with Windows Media Center. Alright, I'm just gonna click continue, express. Alright, I wanna go on full screen. Whew! Landscapes. Oh, extras, extras. Oh, music. You gotta redo this. It's simple to use your home networked audio and video system to play music, watch videos, and view photos stored on your PC. For example, let's say you're in your living room and reading an email on your laptop, and you want to play music through your home speakers. Open Windows Media. I don't, I don't have that set up, and I don't feel like setting it up. But hey. Simply create a home network now. Windows 7, your PC simplified. Thank you. And something really handy back here. Has a bunch of Windows shortcuts back here. Windows keyboard shortcuts. Really nice of you, Microsoft. And with that, it seems like we know everything that needed to be known on Windows 7 in 2009. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And with that, I will be seeing you.